Hey, what's going on guys? It is Facebook Gaming here, and sorry for the lack of uploads, but uh, today I'm making a video which I guess some people requested on the uh, How to Install Shaders 1.8 tutorial. Um, since some people were on Mac, it wasn't quite the same since I was using Windows, and now that I'm making a Mac tutorial, it should be able to help some of you guys out. I'd also like to apologize in advance for the quality of this video. It may not be up to standards, but it's the best I could do because I have to downscale uh, to 1920 by 1200. So anyway, first thing you gotta do is oh, just ignore this. We'll need that later. Uh, open up these pages, which will again be in the description of this video, uh, like the first tutorial. And for the GLSL Shaders mod page, you just wanna scroll down, download the 1.8 version. This is exactly the same as the... Uh, Windows tutorial that I did first pretty much you just want to download it from one of these servers and then after that you want to download this shader pack Just click this link. It's gonna take a while to load for me because there's quite a lot of files um, Just download whichever one you think is right or you don't even have to use this shaders pack You can use a different shaders pack, but this is just the one I use for this example the uh, mr. Meep shaders So once you've got both of those you're gonna to want to open up the dot jar which should be in your downloads folder right here, the GLSL shaders mod dot jar. Um, when you open it up, it may come up with an error saying that it's from an untrusted developer and it basically won't let you open it. Uh, to solve that, go down to system preferences, security and privacy, and there should be a little thing here that says open anyway. You're going to want to press that and it should open up the dot jar file fine. Also, sorry if you start hearing fan noise, but my MacBook is starting to make quite a bit of noise from this recording. Um, so you basically just press yes, then OK, and it should install fine. Uh, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. After that, you want to open up your finder, and you're going to want to go up to the go button. And this is where a lot of the other people got stuck, because they didn't know where to find their Minecraft folder. Uh, I believe if you're ver using any version of Mac OS X above Snow Leopard, you have to hold option to show the uh, library tab. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they just show it, but anyway, that's what you got to do. So just, oh, sorry, I just bumped the mic there, guys. Sorry if you heard that. Um, so yeah, you just got to hold Alt or Option, as it's called on Mac. Press Library, and it'll take you to this. Uh, then you want to go to Application Support, and look around for a little bit until you find Minecraft. And there, oh, that was actually an accident. Uh, don't know why that opened VLC. But here is your Minecraft folder. This is how you actually access it on Mac. And um, there's not going to be anything here yet because we haven't opened up Minecraft. But once we have... Let's open up Minecraft here. Uh, this is just like on the Windows tutorial. Once you open up Minecraft and get it all sorted out, it'll create a shaders pack folder for you. So you can actually install your shaders. And as you can see here, we have a profile called 1.8 shaders mod, which was uh, added when we installed the mod itself. So we're just going to go play, it's going to download a few things, sort itself out, and after that's done, we should have a, uh, a shaders pack folder. Okay, so as you can see, Minecraft is just loaded up here. Uh, I'm going to quit game, close this with Command-Q, and go back to the .minecraft folder. Go back, and then back into it, just to refresh it. And as you can see, we have a shaders pack folder, which is awesome. If you have this, and everything's going to plan, and you should be fine. Uh, server archive, I don't actually need that open. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go back to our downloads. Take the Mr. Meeps Shaders version 04 RC5 or whatever version you got. We're going to copy that. Make sure you do not unzip the .zip file. That's something that a lot of people were doing uh, on the other tutorial and were commenting about it, opening it, in, opening it in WinRAR and stuff. Don't, don't even do that. Just copy the zip, paste it straight into the Shader Packs folder, and you should be fine. And there's a mark on my screen that I really want to get rid of. But anyway, once that's done, you should be able to reopen Minecraft. I'll just minimize this. Oop. There we go. And wait for it to open up again, and we should be done. Alright guys, Minecraft is open, and I apologize again for the noise of the fans from my laptop, if you can actually hear it, because since I've opened up Minecraft and I'm recording at the same time, it's going to make probably quite a bit of noise. So uh, yeah, just bear with me for a second. Uh, and you can see the installation went perfectly, as we now have a shaders option in our options menu. So I'm just going to make sure it's on none, which it is. Done, done, single player, and I'm going to create a new world. Let's call it uh, test world. Put it in creative, create, and I'll be back with you guys once this is done.
Okay, guys, as we can, well, as you guys can see, it has uh, loaded up a new world, and my laptop keeps getting louder and louder. So I'm going to end this quickly, just show you guys that the shaders are working. Press that, it'll probably take a little while. Oh man, it's getting hot in here. Seriously, this computer gets really freaking hot. Okay, that did take a while, but uh, as you can see, the shaders are working perfectly. Anyway, as you guys can see, the uh, shaders have worked perfectly. Very nice looking. Um, yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to say. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out who are on Macs. And um, yeah, again, you can still join all your servers and everything should be fine. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. It really helps me out. Uh, give the video a like. And um, yeah, I think that's just about everything that needs to be said. Thank you guys again for watching and have a nice day.